So what's up everybody, Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have the Inokin Census in my hand. And I know this really does look like, you know, another internal battery, leather cutout, magnetic tank sort of all in one thing. This actually has a little bit of like interesting technology inside of it. Confusing, a little bit. Interesting, yes. Does it work? I legitimately don't know, but I do have some anecdotal evidence. One of these has the 0.2 mesh direct restricted lung, and one of them has the 0.6 mesh mouth to lung. We are gonna dig into this F technology. I should have chapters on this video. Let's get into it. All right, so these are the Inokin censuses that I have been using. This is the leather. I kind of actually like that design a little bit. I'm just glad it doesn't say find across the front of it. Taking a walk around the outside, huge clicky panel. This is your fire button. I think I should call it a fire panel because the whole thing is super clicky. Clicky up down buttons, USB-C for charging. The display, eh, it's fine. Not really anything to write home about. It shows you what you need to know and it shows you what mode you're in. This one is in F mode, but we'll talk about that in a second. These tanks that this uses are made of glass, like glass glass. These are glass glass tanks and I think that's just kind of a baller move. 510 drip tip. These are magnetic and you can see this is the restricted lung. It's been staying really clean. Bottom of the mouth to lung over here also staying really clean. These coil heads are just press fit in here. Each coil head is a slightly different size. So the 0.2 and the 0.6 each need their own base. They thread down into a base. You get both of them in the kit. And then there's a little rubber stopper for filling your tank up. And of course it's magnetic in there. There's a very familiar looking AFC on the front here. And the difference between these and some other AFCs you've seen is this doesn't adjust any sort of like vents on the side. This actually is where the air gets drawn in right from the front. It's nice and smooth. Full open is eh, restricted lung. This doesn't have a great mouth to lung as we'll talk about in a second, but for a mouth to lung, I generally turn it all the way off and I back it off just an imperceivable amount. Ugh, like, uh, like uh, about even that, that might be too much. I think the carbon fiber looks pretty great. I don't think this is real carbon fiber, but it is nice and soft and squishy. It's truly and honestly real ergonomic to kind of hold it like this and hit the button with your thumb. So turning our attention back to this screen right here, right now it's in F mode, it has a clicky fire button. Like I said, there's a few things you can do. So you hold the down in the fire and you lock it. You can unlock it using the same combination. And to get to the menu, you hold both the up and the down. Takes you right to the menu. There's the F mode, which won't be there on yours in retail if you open it, but there's a power mode, coil plus, refresh, what? Normal settings, and then of course you can exit. So power, it's just power, wattage, voltage. If you choose one, it takes you back to the main menu, or not the main menu, the main screen. So you have to go back into the menu, which is kind of annoying. If you wanna to go to coil plus mode, you have to pick wattage or voltage. So if you priorly set it on wattage, you'll set this to wattage. If you priorly set it to voltage, you'll set this to voltage. I don't know what priorly means. I think I meant previously, <laughs> but we'll choose wattage. So what coil plus mode does is fires your coils for like 0.2 seconds after you finish pressing the button. It's like an audible thing. You'll be able to hear it. In fact, on the microphone, you might even be able to hear like an audible sound. And the whole idea behind this is when it keeps firing like that, it's going to do two things, burn off whatever's on there and keep your coil head warm without airflow going through it to draw more liquid into your coil head prevent things like dry hits. And they say it makes your coil heads last longer. As I said at the beginning, I have a little bit of anecdotal evidence about this, and we'll talk about that when we get back out to normal view. But let's go back into the menu real quick. Kind of a complicated little bugger. Refresh, what does this do? Let's run it. It's just sizzling my coil right now at a really, really low wattage. Same idea as the Coil Plus. I haven't been using the refresh only because I've been using it in wattage plus mode and I feel like wattage plus mode already has that refresh sort of built into it. And now we get to the weirdest part of this entire device. This is something you have to unlock, this F mode. And once you're in here, this lets you adjust the frequency of your vape. So your mod is not only firing it, but it's also vibrating your coils ultrasonically as you drag. There's some devices out there that rely completely on ultrasonic vibrations to create the vapor. So the idea of having a heated coil element and ultrasonic vibrations going on at the same time 
does seem kind of fascinating. I've been fiddling around with this, trying to figure out if it really affects the vape. Again, I have a little bit of anecdotal evidence on this, but not a ton. Seems interesting. I'm not sure how or why it would affect the vape, but the idea is you join the Find Inokin Facebook group and you can discuss this very thing. Maybe what liquids and what wattages you used at what hurts. I don't know how valid it is, but it is yet another way to sort of customize your vape. This interface moves crazy fast, as you can see, if you just hold it down, but it does go up to 435 hertz, I believe, uh, 416. And if you go past that, it drops it back down to 25. So let's leave it at 416. 26 watts, restricted lung, 416 in F mode. Kind of a weird little thing packed with some weird little technology in this, but uh, let's actually get back out to normal view now and vape this F technology. So before we kind of talk about the F technology, I just do want to talk about objectively, how is this device? How are the coil heads? How does it vape? Things like that. Non-confusing technology things. Focusing on the point two restricted lung, Vape's pretty nice. Inokin doesn't have a great track record of doing really good restricted lung. And I'm happy to report that this is a really good restricted lung. It's nice and flavorful. I've only been rocking this. It's a point two at 26 watts. But it honestly vapes really nice. Gives me plenty of warmth. Gives me some real nice flavor. Side note, it's interesting running this in F mode because I've only been running this in coil plus mode previously and it feels different. I think the census is real ergonomic. Like I said, it's real conducive to that badminton racket technique. You just hold it like this, hit it with your thumb. Be careful not to accidentally cover up the airflow with your finger. Once it happens the first time, you kind of never do it again after that. It's got a pretty nice weight to it. I like a lot of heft. I like heft sometimes in my devices. I tend to lead towards heftiness. This is a little bit on the lighter-ish side, but it feel, you know, it still satisfies that sort of weighty techy feel. This uses the Inokin Scepter coil head. So if you've used the Scepter pod, it's just those same coil head. It's a pretty nice mouth to lung coil head. In the world of mouth to lung coil heads, I feel like it ranks pretty highly. It's maybe not gonna dethrone something like the Aspire Nautilus Mini, or man, even that Vupu V through or the Weenax, but it's still a very fine mouth to lung. Now, as far as cons go, there's gonna be a few. The first thing, and I'm told this is being improved on the final production version, but these pods are really like uh, easily push overable. In fact, if you kind of get it just right, you can kind of pop the whole thing like right out. And just as a reference, Vupu pods do not do this. If we're gonna talk about that wobble, we also have to talk about the 510 connection, which again, I'm told is going to be fixed in the final production version of this. The 510 connection is just a thread on, little adapter guy, magnetizes right in. Honestly feels very satisfying, but as wobbly as those tanks were, this 510 is 8,000 times wobblier. You hit this just right, it's like you broke your tank, it's done. Which again, I'm being told is corrected in the final production version. Just, you know, be aware of it. So let's talk about the whole refresh mode, the wattage plus mode, the F mode. As I said earlier, I've been running this mouth to lung coil head at 12 watts in wattage plus mode for two and a half weeks, three weeks almost. And here's where the anecdotal evidence comes in. I have not ever had a scepter coil head last me that long. I could get a week and a half max, maybe if I was really lucky two weeks out of a scepter coil head. This has been going three weeks with honestly no signs of slowing down. The flavor is still spot on. It feels nice and crispy. It feels like there's nothing on the coils. You'll be able to hear this for sure. kind of kept going, you heard a sound. That sound you're hearing, I think is only in the microphone. It doesn't It doesn't come across IRL. You do hear a little sizzle, but not like the <laughs> sound. But this scepter coil head has lasted me a shocking amount of time, and I'm just gonna keep using it. And this F technology, it's just real weird, kind of out of left field. I didn't even hear any rumors or anything that Inokin's working on like frequency, ultrasonic frequencies in your coil heads. I will say when you do switch it over to F mode, your screen shows you the Hertz, the frequency that you're on. So this right now is at 26 Watts, 0.25 ohm coil. You don't need much wattage for these restricted lungs and it's set to 25 Hertz at two.
pretty warm, very flavorful. Didn't really notice any difference at all between regular wattage and F mode right there. But if you go to the other extreme and you go from 25 Hertz to 416 Hertz, it's not something I can really like pinpoint, but it feels a little bit different. It feels like the vape is denser. It's hard to describe, but it does feel more saturated. It is very flavorful. So really, Inokin kind of put this technology out there, created a Facebook group for it and said, here, the, the device does this, go nuts. So I'll be interested to see what consumers end up doing with this technology, if anything at all. So I think I'm gonna do a real quick follow up a few weeks down the road after I've been using these for a while with the F technology and with that, you know, wattage plus mode. I wanna see how long this scepter coil head lasts. But right now, I guess I'll do an as it stands sort of budget alien bananas. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands? Ah, not really. Click around the internet, you can kind of find it for like 50, 55 bucks, which is, you know, not crazy vape budget hands. It's pretty par for the course for like this category of product. I can't really play the aliens game because if this does make this scepter coil head last way longer than it normally would, I would definitely want something like that. I also think it's a baller move that Inokin's releasing a device that is designed to make your coil heads last longer in a time when I feel like sometimes Chinese companies overclock their regulated devices a little bit, or, you know, so you kind of burn through coil heads a little bit faster, sort of keep those purchases going. I think it's really cool uh, and really kind of a baller move for Inokin to release a product that's like, hey, this will actually make your coil heads last longer. We don't we don't want you buying as many coil heads. I think that's just kind of rad. So I'm not gonna play the Aliens game and I'm not gonna really give it any banana stickers right now. I guess as it stands, it would kind of be hovering in that four range of banana stickers. But like I said, if this technology kind of pans out and these coil heads end up lasting way longer than they normally would, that banana sticker rating could go up. And look, I know it's just an Inokin AIO, but it does have some cool technology in it and I really wanna do a follow-up on it. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use Google, Google search, use DuckDuckGo actually, don't use Google. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, no matter what is in your hand, let's keep on vaping. And if you're a smoker, switch right now, right away, today. Make this the day.